angry guy here and broke girls are furious because they are not the prize. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers and our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. Broke girls are furious because they are not the prize. Let's just go ahead and jump into the first video. Why do you think women are the prize in a relationship? Because we add value to a man's life. We take whatever you guys already have and we just amplify it and make it better. The right kind of woman makes it better. But you're not going to pay for your man's dinner, take him out, plan trips, have him move in with you, then plan for the future and lead the way. I shouldn't. He's a provider. That's part of having values. Or Those are the values, for example, I value. No man could say that well. Because he's doing all of those things, he's the prize instead. No. <laughs> he can do that for himself. He should be able to do it for somebody else. Well, that's the thing. If he can do it for himself, why would he need you? Because in other ways, I will add value to his life. Not monetarily. Like? Companionship, making sure that he keeps up with, you know, what his goals are and what his dreams are, supporting him and also just overall, if you're looking also for looks, like being arm candy. Wow, guys, she thinks she's arm candy. So do you listen to this? They bring actually no value into a man's life. They want a man that is wealthy. They want a man that is fit. They want a man that is tall. They want a man that is charismatic. They want a man that has his life together, that is on you know because to become this type of person to be the kind of man that they want you already have to have all of the qualities and traits that they're saying they're going to add to your life you already have to be this man and now they want to come into your life and say that they are responsible as soon as they enter your life they want to say they are responsible for anything that you gain after that so if she comes into your life everything after she entered your life you now have because of her because of her presence guy you know, if you if any gains you make, those are because of her. Any losses that you any losses that you take, that's because you weren't doing what you were supposed to do, despite having this amazing woman with you, guys. This is this is the a, this is what you call snake oil and downright narcissism. No man in their right mind should tolerate this type of behavior, this type of treatment by someone. And it's it's amazing, guys. They literally believe that their presence is simply enough in a relationship and they're furious they're absolutely furious because men are waking up and saying that i'm the prize and they don't like that this is this is crazy this is crazy but this is the reality that men live in in western society let's jump into this other video because i want you guys to see more perspectives when it comes to these women who think that they're the prize need a career to attract a man yeah yeah i know no so. you do not uh-huh we do, we, okay. we do, we do not? No. 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 We do not. I don't want to say no, that I'm right, but I did mention before women lack empathy in the male experience. Do you need status to attract a man? What do you mean static? Uh, like, do you have clout? Do you need clout to attract a man? No. No, I don't think so. Okay. I feel like they would Do you need to be not. the most fit girl in the world to attract a man? You don't, right? Guess what? All four of those things that I just named, every man needs to have for them to even attract some type of girl. And you guys are the prize? <laughs> and if you lack one, the other has to be exceptionally exactly. high to make up for it. And y'all are the prize? But, like, you see, when you guys are so close, you think that men, you think that girls need money to attract women. Well, that's how I know you. <laughs> y'all. Men are waking up. It's a cultural awakening. And be careful because there's these chameleons out here that are like, oh, we know we know what you're going through, guys. But I mean, let's jump into this video. The woman is the prize. Ladies are all too happy to say. So what does that make the man if we are to think this way? He must be the champion because champions pursue their prize. But honey, the prize will not be pursued if it lacks value in his eyes. In his divine masculine energy, the feminine woman he will certainly chase. That's if she's perceived as worthy of this highly expensive race. 
But it's not every woman he will spend the effort and valuable time needed to pursue. No, he must be highly motivated if he decides to make that lady his number one boo. Yes, if in his eyes she's valuable, much like a prized Super Bowl ring, he'll give his time, his energy, his money. Shoot, he'll give her almost anything. But if he looks at her and sees nothing more than a Little League Participation Award, it's silly to think she'd be something he'd chase or even attempt to move mountains for. So should we value him less because this champion so boldly goes after his goal? Why should we? That sounds absurd. He's only playing his masculine gender role. Men and women can be compared to musical notes that we so naturally play. Let's say the women are a beautifully sharp C and the men are a handsomely flat A. We should all stop fighting. We just look so foolish trying to all sound like middle C when anyone who knows music know that chords sound so much better. Instead, let's make harmony. Here's the thing. These women are being rejected and replaced. Men, you know, they, you know, she said that let's make harmony, you know, like notes, but here's the problem. Ladies, they played, ladies, you played yourselves. You played yourselves. There you go. You know, they kept on pushing. They kept overreaching. They made, they've made society, Western society, a place that men no longer want to live in. And here's, I understand how this has happened. It's social media. Don't get me wrong. We were going in this direction a long time, you know, with the with feminism in the seventies and the nineties feminism. We were heading in this direction for a very, very long time. Okay, so it's not just the internet that has caused this, but it's the internet that has amplified it. Because there were a lot of issues that happened in the nineties. I listen to me, guys. I had some, I, you know, I had a run in where I was in high school, and this woman literally this literally just said that I said something disrespectful to her and she, she put her, she, 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 her hand connected with my face. And I literally said, listen, I'm just going to turn the other cheek. I'm not going to fight you. I swear she hit the other. She, she hit me on the other. She hit my other cheek. So at this point I'm in absolute shock and I get, I jump, I jump up and the entire class jumps on me. This is this happened to me, and I was physically restrained by the sibs, and I was then apprehended by the police, and I said I said to the police, I, "Let me tell you what happened." They told me to shut up, and they took me to an interrogation room, and then asked her if she wanted to press charges, and she walked in crying and goes, "She doesn't want to press charges." I said to them, "I did not do anything to her." They looked at me and they laughed at me. And they left, and they let me out of interrogation, and they slammed the door in my face. This was the re this is the result. This is what society is like. And when I went home and I told my mother about this, she refused to take any actions against this woman. She refused to do anything. I begged and I pleaded. She refused. She just my mother watched the worst things happen to me. She watched the she watched women do the worst things to me, and she refused to ever stand up for me. And then you wonder why men walk away from society. You wonder, and then women go, well, that's not every woman. Okay, so what happened? So what about this experience that I had with this woman? That's You put yourself in that situation. Really, I put myself in a situation where I was in class, and a woman randomly put her hands on me and made these... Made these uh, and I said these things. Well, assuming that it's true, uh, it's a, it's the exception. Oh, well, so when I experienced this other similar event with this woman, that was also my fault. Listen to me. You need to take accountability for your choices that you've made. Are you serious, y'all? Are you really serious? Okay, so I'm gonna walk away. You know, and these women, women in Western sight, this is a, this has been a long time coming. And the greatest thing is that men walking away, most of y'all, because some of y'all have some hate in your heart, but most men have indifference and they know the power of indifference. The Miglipos used to say that you should not carry hatred with you. It's better to carry indifference because when you are indifferent to something, you don't care if they are here or not here. You don't care if they live or pass away. That is indifference. Indifference is truly unbelievable. It doesn't mean that you will tolerate anything from anyone. It doesn't mean that you won't stand up for yourself. 
but indifference is crazy because once you're indifferent to something, you don't even view, you may not even view them as anything of value, anything of worth. You don't, you do not care about them at all, at all. Like you, it's it, a lot in many cases, there is no human, you will show zero humanity towards them. You will act like you do not see them if possible. You would not, I mean, this is indifference and women don't understand it, that they are create. they've created a society where men are increasingly indifferent to them. The only men that will, that will run to them and aid them are the simps. And the thing is simps, most of those simps are online. The ever and a lot of simps are, a lot of simps are, are too scared to actually interact with a woman in public. But the typical guys, the men of value, the men that can actually do anything, they're avoiding the, they're avoiding them entirely because they've been told you should never approach a woman in society that you don't know. You should don't even look at us. I mean, guys, there are some people who say that, oh, the issue is because of the way that women are dressing in gyms. This that's not the issue. That's not the issue. Oh, it's because they're they're recording. That's not the issue. Guys, if it's not in gyms, it's in us, it's in other places. They'll say that you are looking at them in a coffee shop. Guys, I don't know if you don't comprehend this. Because many of you don't understand what's happening here. And I'm, I, I, I don't want to, it's, they live in a social media, their, their brains are constantly in social media. So the way that they think is like, because they, they have the simps that are constantly in their DMs, constantly validating them, constantly giving them attention. So it makes them believe that they are constantly being bombarded by men. And as a result of that, they, they, they basically, even the average guy standing, minding his business, they're going to say that this guy is, this guy is, you know, this, he's, this guy is bothering them. And it, it's, it's a lot of it is because of the Sims and because they, they, they face no consequences for their actions in society and they're bailed out of every bad decision that they make. It makes it, it then make it, makes it even worse. That's the truth. You have to wake up and realize that it doesn't, if, even if women were walking around like in the middle East where they were completely covered up and all you could see are the eyes, they would still say, that guys were bothering them in society. Even if they were walking with family members, they would still say, guys, even if, if they, let's say there were separate workout spaces in the gyms, all right? And they were covered. They would, cl they would claim that the moment that they passed by this guy, this guy was looking at them. You just don't get it. Why is this creepy guy looking at me? You, don't, you, you guys are so blind. It, it it has nothing. Yes, the way they're dressing is is really inappropriate now in the gyms. But it's not it's not because of how they're dressed. It's because no matter how they are dressed, no matter it's the very fact that they would that they are that they are they just they, they don't like us. They resent us. If all the men left Western society right now, they would say that that we're bothering them in in in, in on, on online. I mean, like literally, there are now criminal proceedings against men for things that are happening in the metaverse saying that oh something there was unwanted there was an unwanted physical interaction in the metaverse and the police have to get involved and this person needs to be found and prosecuted immediately guys this is in, this is what's happening right now even just if all the men were gone from america gone from western society and they still had and women still had access to the internet they cuz i'm telling you M2, the new M2, M2 part two, or second wave M2, whatever you want to call it. They're going to be going for after all those guys that send them DMs. They're going to be going after those guys and that send them DMs. They're going to be after going after guys that's that they've that they've spoken to on Tinder. They're going to be going after men online in online spaces. In addition to the real world, they're going to be going after dudes who they've been, who they've they've just barely interacted with or ever interacted with on these platforms, and they're going to be going after the platform holders themselves. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Rogue girls are furious because they are not the prize. What do you guys think regarding this? I want to know your thoughts in the comments. Let's discuss. Let me know what you guys think about everything we discussed here today. Like in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA and walking away. And cheers.